Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we're going to share some of the most effective solutions to fix the no media error in Windows disk management. It's a common USB error that occurs when systems restrict users from accessing a USB drive even after it's been recognized properly. The error can occur with both new and old USB drives, so if you're stuck in a similar situation, be sure to watch this video till the end. But before that, make sure you tap the subscribe button so you never miss out on any new videos. In order to fix any USB related error, it's always good to know what triggers it first. Usually there are several factors that can cause the no media error. A few of these factors include your USB drive might not be connected properly to your computer, the PC might have outdated USB drivers, your USB port might be broken or damaged, the drive itself might contain a virus or some suspicious malware, or the drive might have bad sectors. Now, since there are multiple reasons that can trigger the error, you'll have to perform different solutions to find the root cause and to fix the USB drive. So let's quickly walk you through the different working solutions to fix the USB drive with a no media error issue one by one. Now, before you get all creative and put on your technical caps, let's start with something simple. Since a broken USB port can cause a no media error, try reconnecting the USB drive into a different port. If the error was being triggered due to a broken USB port, this will instantly fix the problem and you'll be able to access your drive with no issues. If changing the USB port doesn't fix the problem, the next step would be to check your USB drive for a system error. To do this, you can use Windows' own built-in error checker that will automatically scan and fix different system errors. Here's how you can repair a USB drive with the error checking tool. Firstly, connect your USB drive to the computer and open File Explorer. Now, right-click on the USB drive and tap Properties. Then switch to the Tools tab and click the Check button. The tool will automatically start diagnosing the USB drive for system errors and fix anything it finds. Now sometimes Windows automatically disables a USB drive and that may cause the no media error. In this case, you'll have to manually enable the USB drive to fix the problem. While there are different ways to enable the USB drive, the easiest method is to use the device manager. So right click on the Windows button and select Device Manager. Expand the Universal Serial Bus Controller option. Now locate Mass USB Storage. If the USB drive is disabled, this option will be marked red. Finally, right click this option and tap Enable to enable your USB drive. Reboot your PC and connect the USB drive again to check if it's worked properly or not. Like the built-in hard drive partitions of your computer, a USB drive also essentially acts as a standalone partition for your system, and so it's denoted with a dedicated letter. Now, you can also fix this error by changing the drive's letter manually. To do this, you'll need to open the disk management tool. So connect your USB drive to the PC and right-click on the Start button and click Disk Management. Right click the USB drive and tap change drive letters and paths. A new pop up will appear on your screen. Click change and use the drop down menu to choose a new letter that you want to assign to the USB drive. And click OK to complete the process. You can also use the check disk utility to fix USB drive errors. It's an official Windows utility and is designed to fix different system errors. So, whether your USB drive has bad sectors or contains malware, CheckDisk should automatically repair it for you. So here's how you can use CheckDisk to repair USB drive errors. Open Cortana search box and type CMD in the search bar and right click the first result and tap run as administrator. Now type CheckDisk followed by the letter you've assigned to your USB drive, followed by colon, forward slash F, forward slash R, forward slash X, and press enter. At this point, check disk will automatically start scanning your USB drive and find and fix any system errors. 
Once it's finished, press exit, close the command prompt and check if the no media error has gone or not. In case you're unable to fix the no media error, it's quite possible that the USB drive is corrupt or physically damaged. In this case, you'll have no other option but to buy a brand new USB drive. But it would be nice to retrieve all of your files from the damaged USB drive. Now to do this, you'll need a professional data recovery tool to do the job. Wondershare Recoverit is one such application that will help you retrieve all data from a damaged USB drive, even if you're unable to access it. Recoverit performs a detailed scan on the USB drive and fetches out all files that it automatically finds. It supports different file formats, which means you'll be able to recover all different types of files. So follow these steps to recover data from a damaged USB drive using Recoverit. Connect your USB drive to the PC, install and launch Recoverit. On the home screen, select the USB drive as a target location to scan. This will be listed under the External Devices tab. Then click Start to initiate the scanning process. Recoverit will scan the USB drive and display all files that it finds on your screen. Now this will take a few minutes to complete depending on the size of your drive. After the scanning process has finished, select the files that you want to retrieve and click Recover in the bottom right corner to save them to your computer. So that is how you can fix the no media error on a Windows PC. If this video has helped you fix your USB drive, be sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.